So Ubisoft spent 650 to 850 million dollars on Skull and Bones. So Skull and Bones is this massive failure of a game that everybody forgot about. But 2024 will be remembered as one of the worst years for gaming. It will obviously be since 19. The last really bad year for gaming was 1983, and that was when the gaming crash occurred. I think we're really going through a gaming crash at this current moment. And the gaming industry can really blame themselves for this, especially the AAA gaming industry. Because they really fought to the ink with this great and amazing company that everybody must love. But again, as we all know, Ubisoft and many developers have struggled this year with selling games. So Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Shadows are not very, you know, successful games, obviously. But this game was a massive failure, which easily puts Cockworld with its 40, 50 to 50, 40 billion, do- billion dollars for... Say, according to Immediad, Ubisoft spent around $850 million on Skull and Bones. This game is a massive failure, 100%. And it's just Ubisoft is having a lot of failures. So basically, only 850,000 people played Skull and Bones in its first week. And again, usually massively anticipated hyped up games are supposed to be selling millions of copies in its first week. So only 850,000 people played the game for all consoles is really, really concerning. And as of now, no one's playing Skull and Bones, 214 people on Steam, and regular even role play accounts on Xbox and PlayStation, which really shows you that AAA gaming is continuing to decline in popularity, and people really don't like AAA gaming anymore, more because of the horrible mistakes they've been making for the past couple of years. 2024 has got to be one of the worst years for gaming overall, as many for, for massive games have failed and flopped, with only very few successful games this year, including Black with Fukog, Power World, that new Zelda game that came out, which is selling pretty well, which again, no surprise, it's a Nintendo game, but yeah, not very many successful games this year, okay? You know, not many, many games that would be considered huge, massive successes. But usually in the past, you'd have more, like, games, like, every month. But now we have, like, one or two successful games a year, and the gaming industry just cannot go on like this. Especially when all the most successful games of the year are indie games, and not even major first-party first party games for major developers. It's kind of like if Hollywood started to struggle so much, or the highest grossing movies of the year are from China and Europe, or from, like, in these studios like Angel Studios or Neon releasing. Okay. That would be that is the state of the gaming industry at this current moment. And of course Nintendo releasing a few successful games this year as well. With four major studios, let's just say Paramount releasing a few successful movies like Sonic Free and the tra- or, or new Transformers movie or something like that. As well. But yep, that's about this video here. And goodbye.